I got a really cool one for you guys today. We've had the pleasure of having Brian from the YouTube channel Adventure Van Man stand with us, and today we're gonna get a tour of his box van. A deep inside look to this extremely functional platform. Let's go deep inside and check it out. Hey guys, my name is Brian. I got a YouTube channel called Adventure Van Man. I've been at the YouTube thing for, geez, I think coming up on six years or so, maybe a little longer. And I uh, moved into my first van in 2014. I had a 97 uh, Dodge short van, cargo van, I converted into a camper. And uh, did that for a couple few years and then moved up to a 91 Chevy G20 conversion van that I built out as a camper. And uh, recently, I acquired this about a year ago. It's a 2010 GMC box van, 10-foot box van, that was a retired U-Haul van, and I converted it into a camper as well. We'll take out a look at it here soon. And uh, kind of my story of how I got into the van life, uh, I just kind of wanted to do something different with my life and be able to see more of the country, have more freedom to myself to be able to do what I wanted to do. So uh, I got hooked up with seasonal jobs around the country, uh, doing farming work up in North Dakota, Work for Amazon.com in Kentucky and a lot of other various stuff to fund my travels and my lifestyle. And uh, all I can say is my life has only gotten better. I feel a lot more control in my life, uh, a lot more in touch with uh, what it takes for me to be happy. And it's really been a good, good path for me. They gave me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it was a little bit of a chore to build this out. These box vans, uh, when they come from U-Haul, they actually have the roll-up door on it. And uh, I knew I didn't want that because with the roll-up, it's just not, it's not airtight, it's not watertight. And when you roll it in, you lose uh, headspace. So I knew I wanted to remove that. So I was able to find videos on YouTube on the best way to remove the door. And then I had a friend help me. We basically just framed out the open space once the roll-up was removed, uh, kind of standard house-style framing, and then added this wooden door. This is just plywood with some, some boards uh, attached to it. Went with these big trailer hinges. Kind of was going for like an industrial, like freezer truck look for kind of stealthy purposes. And I've been real happy with it. Uh, this may change in the future, but for now it's very effective. Uh, the, really the one thing that I would like is uh, some sort of window. Uh, when I'm inside, I can't really see out the back, which for safety purposes sometimes is a thing. I do have a camera for that purpose, so I can kind of scope out what's going on. But uh, yeah, removing the roll-up door was the first step. Uh, and then once that was done, uh, I was able to start on the inside, which I went pretty minimal. Um, I'm not super into like the glam vans, the glampers and that. I like more utilitarian function over looks. And at the time I built this, lumber is, was and is still quite expensive. So I had a, you know, a budget, I can only do so much. So welcome to come inside. We'll take a look and I'll show you what I did. All right, well, welcome inside here. Again, I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Um, I've had two previous camper vans that I built. And in the past, I've tried the you know, bed going side to side. And I found that personally, I prefer the, the lengthwise bed. So that's what I did. I put the bed on this side. It's kind of couch mode now. I usually sleep in it just like this. Um, I have a girlfriend and she stays over a lot and can slide it out, bring the other cushion down and have a full bed. So pretty convenient there. And then of course I've got storage underneath the bed, which is a problem for me because I have way too much stuff as far as someone living on the road, but it's a constant uh, effort for me. And uh, basically st clothes storage up here. This is all the clothes I own other than the coats you see hanging. Uh, the other big modification for this van was putting in the windows. These boxes normally don't have a window. So it was pretty nerve wracking, but cut the holes for the windows. This is just kind of like a cheap trailer, cargo trailer style window. Uh, I didn't want too big a windows in this. Uh, I've had like in my past van, the G20, it had the huge conversion windows and I just kept them covered up most of the time to keep the heat out and privacy. So I knew I wanted just a couple small windows. I went with the roof fan too, tried to go off center so it was more over my cooktop. And uh, that was the general idea I had. I knew bed on one side, kitchen and desk on the other, and I just kind of ran with it. 
Um, first thing most people see is this elaborate stuff over here. This is actually my power center. So on this setup, because this is my third uh, little home on wheels, uh, one of the things that I always lacked was, for my use, is sufficient power setup on the road. So I've got three big solar panels on the roof that total 570 watts. And then I went with lithium batteries, which was an upgrade from the old AGMs I was using. So I've got four 100 amp hour Battleborn lithium batteries in this box here. And I'm using a Victron uh, inverter a charger, the Victron charge controller. And this is just a fuse, fuse box setup for the DC and AC. And uh, it's worked out really good. Uh, in the past, I always had my power setup kind of hidden under the bed in that. And I found that it just collected a lot of dust. And when it was time to inspect and maintain things, it was hard to get to. And with this setup, it's all right out in the open, uh, which may not be some people's thing, but for me, it allows me to, you know, visually inspect all the wires and make sure everything is good to go. The last thing any van dweller wants or RVer wants is their rig catching on fire, which does happen, and oftentimes it's electrically uh, related. So uh, that's why I went with this kind of elaborate setup. It was a little passion project. Uh, I always kind of envisioned something like this, so I was really proud and happy with the results. Pretty much have more power than I could ever need. Uh, powers my fridge. Um, not only do I do YouTube and camera and video stuff, but I also dabble in music. So I have a little kind of mobile music studio set up that I can fully power off of this. I can go about five to seven days with no sun on the solar panels and still not run out of power, which is what I was going for. Uh, I also run a diesel heater that's under here and that needs some uh, electricity to run the fan. So I can be with no sun and really cold weather and still have enough juice to run my heater and not worry about freezing. So it's worked out quite well for me. Uh, so one of the other big vital things to really make this little livable from the get-go was of course getting rid of the roll-up door and having a, a door that I could open from the inside and back. But also to keep it from you know me being trapped in here, this pass-through here is not part of the factory box fan. I had to cut that pass-through um, and once I cut that, that was actually the first thing I did even before removing the roll-up door. Um, I tried to, you know, I did all this conversion while I was living on the road. I don't have a home base, I live on the road full time. So I knew the first thing I needed to make this livable and to be able to spend time back here was to be able to pass from the front to back uh, for safety, security and all that. So that was a vital thing. Uh, I still haven't come up with what I want to do as far as putting a door or a slider, so I'm just using this curtain here. Um, and that's where I keep my 12 volt fridge freezer, uh, right up between the two seats there. It's uh, easy to access the fridge through the pass through, so I just have to open it up and get what I need out of there. And, uh, you know, for privacy, I'll just put this curtain down. And really, from front, when you're looking in from the front, it just gives it a nice smooth appearance and you kind of really don't know um, what's going on back here, which is the idea. Okay, so moving over to the kitchen area, um, I, if you watch any of my videos, I'm always showing cooking. It's not only a hobby, but it's what sustains me. And uh, having the freedom and more time in my life, I've really gotten into, you know, cooking every meal and making it the best food possible. So under this is a inset uh, propane burner stove here got a little propane tank uh, hidden under here and it's just plumbed up so I can pull the tank out and refill it put it back under there and uh, pretty much do all my cooking on this I do have a camp stove too, a two burner camp stove that I'll set up outside at camp often when I feel like cooking outside so this um, has turned out to be very useful and then I can just put this in there and I have my table space and uh, this is actually a prefab cabinet here I got from Lowe's or Home Depot and just mounted it. I wasn't, didn't feel like building my own. Mostly all my kitchenware stuff, all my food and condiment stuff goes under here, whatever's not in the fridge. And this is kind of my desk workspace, although after living in this van for a year, I've decided that I would rather have this desk up high, level with this. So that will be a future mod that I'll be making. Just find that I like working on my laptop while I'm standing, so it'll be more of a standing desk. And uh, use a mobile uh, internet hotspot through Verizon for having uh, web connectivity on the road. Works out really well. And uh, what else can I say? Pretty much all this junk you see underneath this desk is my donate pile in my travels. I figure out I have stuff that I really don't need. 
So I'm constantly kind of getting rid of stuff and acquiring new stuff. So this is my get rid of pile. So I'm looking forward to getting rid of all that stuff. All right, so on the back end of the van here, we got the uh, back door closed so we're not uh, blown out by the light. But one of the big things for me with this lifestyle is now that I have more freedom in my life time-wise and I'm moving around places that I want to be, uh, I want to be able to have fun. I got into this to enjoy life, um, save money, but also always to be able to do the activities I've always wanted to do but never had enough time to do. Now I've got the time. So mountain biking is big for me. Uh, I do a lot of hiking, backpacking. Uh, I've carried a mountain bike in the past on my previous vans and it's always been on a carrier outside and the weather living on the road full time just beats the crap out of bikes. So I knew with this build I wanted to have my bike inside so I came up with a way to hang my bike against the back wall. So I've got my mountain bike here and all the gear that goes with it, helmet and packs and stuff. And then I also have an inflatable kayak. Uh, that's something I really you know, wanted to have a vessel that I could get out on the water with. So I've got my PFD and stuff for the inflatable kayak here. The actual kayak is stored underneath here. I keep it rolled up there, pretty easily accessible. And then I've got my backpacking gear here. I like to be able to bug out and just hit the trail and tent camp overnight places. So I'm set up for that. So this is really kind of my outdoorsy gear setup where I can keep it all stored in the back. It's by the back door, so it's easy to get in and out and it just allows me to just enjoy life that much more. Um, I know a lot of people are into this lifestyle for minimalism, but uh, you know, I wanna be able to enjoy the things I enjoy. So I've been really pleased um, with the setup for that. It's, uh, it's really helped me uh, get out there and enjoy life. So this was kind of a later addition after the initial build. Uh, I felt like I wanted some more table service surface over in this area. Um, so this is kind of multifunctional. It's removable. I'm able to unscrew this table here. This is just kind of a homemade lagoon style table just using a galvanized pipe. And I got this idea from online. Someone else had done it, so I just copied their idea. And uh, it's, really, it's really nice because this table is off center on this pivot point. So there's a lot of different ways you can angle it. I could have it over here and use it when I'm eating, sitting on my couch. I can actually swing it all the way over uh, this way and use it as like a desk space when my back door is open, work on my laptop and have a nice view out my back door. That's really nice. And it also can just be an extra surface for when I'm cooking. If I run out of counter space, I can set stuff over here, do some food prep and cutting and that. And it just comes in real handy. And the, the best part about it is it's really easy to break down. This is just threaded on here. I'll give you a little peek underneath what it looks like. Just gotta kind of keep spinning into it. Good. It does. It's just got one of these threaded mounts here. And again, this is just galvanized pipe. So I can slide my table away, get it out of the way. Store it behind the bed there. Jump cut. And then this pipe I've got set into a piece of PVC pipe that's mounted to the bed frame. And then I could just stash this over here behind my pack. All right, one of the most common questions people ask is about shower and uh, toilet. I've been at this for seven years now on the road, eight years in a van. And I've come up with a couple things that work for me. I did the gym shower for a while and I hate going into cities. So I knew I needed something that I could do on the road, actually at camps and that. And this is what I came up with. This is just a weed sprayer that I painted black and then I adapted a little sink sprayer nozzle so I can just pump it up, get it pressurized, the water warms up in the sun, and I've got a nice water flow that I can take a shower with. I have a shower tent too that I can set up for privacy and I uh, use it for a lot of different things, just washing up, dishes, shower, it comes in super handy. We've got two gallon capacity. Some people use a bigger size, but this has really been a big part of me getting by on the road. And of course, the toilet thing, a lot of people do different things. Some people have composting toilets, little chemical cassette toilets. Some people just use the bucket and bag. I did the bucket and bag thing for a while, and then I found this little fold up, kind of like hospital medical toilet seat. It's got a little insert that helps a bag stay in there, and you just put the bag in there, set it up. I can use it inside the van, bag it, haul it out to when I get to a trash can. And I'll actually use this out in the woods too. I'll go from my camp, find a little secluded spot, 
dig a hole with my camp shovel and set this right over it and I've got an instant little outdoor latrine. Comes in super handy. When I'm done, you can remove it, bury, you know, bury the waste in the hole. And it just works out really good for me. For my purposes, it uh, gets me by. Well, I appreciate you guys stopping by and uh, checking out my camper van here. You're welcome to come on over to the Adventure Van Man YouTube channel. I'm on Instagram as Adventure Van Man as well. And I uh, just try to document my travels and bring you around the country with me and uh, let you know how beautiful this country is and that there's just another option out here as far as lifestyle. Uh, in my past, I was always kind of flustered and felt like I was being fit into a, you know, like a round peg being fit into a square hole and out here I just feel like I'm in my element. I highly recommend you check out Adventure Van Man. It's a super authentic channel. It's 100% uh, it's real. It's 100% raw. It's just all the good stuff. I've been watching it for a really long time and uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next Sunday. Consider subscribing the like button and touching the notification and sharing the bell. All that good stuff. Really appreciate it. See you guys next time. Before we take off though, Brian, can you please just say your famous catchphrase? Away we go. <laughs> yeah.